We all have a vivid memory of our baptism and receipt of the Holy Ghost. As we grow in understanding of the full meaning of the life of Jesus Christ, of what he's done to bless every soul, that ordinance takes on increasing significance. We did live in the presence of our eternal Father and of his beloved Son, our Savior. Every mortal that has or ever will come to earth chose that privilege after fully understanding the plan of happiness that would guide our life here. Only those who make and keep the covenant of baptism diligently obey his commandments and receive all of the other necessary ordinances will have a fullness of joy on earth and will live eternally in the celestial kingdom. For the truly repentant, baptism provides a remission of sins because of the atonement of Jesus Christ. The Savior said, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That is an absolute requirement for every soul that would receive a fullness of the blessings offered us. That is why we perform in holy temples the ordinance of baptism vicariously for our deceased ancestors. The master himself was baptized to fulfill all righteousness. He is our perfect example in all things. I testify that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is a resurrected being of perfect love and compassion. I witness that he gave his life that we might live eternally with him and our Father in heaven and our loved ones who qualify through obedience to the commandments and receipt of all of the ordinances of salvation. I solemnly witness that I know that the Savior lives.